Excuse me. May I show you a real quick magic trick? Watch this. I'm going to print three cards out of this phone, pull the cards off of the screen and give it to you. I have nothing in this hand and nothing in this hand. <clears throat> now watch real closely. For you. Can I show you another magic trick? Read those triangles out loud together on three. One, two, three. There is in the spring, bird in the air, once in a lifetime. You got them all wrong. The first one says Paris in the, the spring, bird in the, the hand, once in a, a lifetime. Do you see how easily you can make a mistake? Can I show you another magic trick? Are you a good person? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, okay? You're a good person? Let's see if you're mistaken. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. What do you call people who tell lies? Liars. So what are you? Liars. <laughs> Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you? Like candy, an answer? What do you call people who steal? A thief. Oh. <laughs> so what are you? <laughs> you're a lying thief. Have your parents ever punished you? That means you didn't always honor your father and your mother. By your admission, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, rebellious. Is that a good person? And if you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Not sure. Did you break God's law about not lying? So are you innocent or guilty when you break the law? Guilty. So are you innocent or guilty when God judges you? Guilty. That's right. And should God let guilty people into heaven? You're in trouble, right? So where would you have gone if you had died yesterday? No. That's right. You said it, I didn't. I only asked you questions. But do you know what God did for you so you could be forgiven? What did, what did God do for you? Yeah. Ever heard of Jesus? Yeah. How, how did he die and why did he die? <laughs> he died for you on the cross. You know the cross? Mm -hmm. He was being punished for your sins. That's how much God loves you. He wants to be punished so you won't have to be punished. So do you know how to be forgiven based on what Jesus did for you? You have to repent of your sins and believe in Jesus. Here's what Jesus said. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, gave Jesus, that whoever believes in Him, whoever believes in Jesus will not perish but have everlasting life. What do you have to do? <laughs> Believe in Jesus. Yeah. Acts 16.31 Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. So how do you go to heaven? Believe in Jesus. That's right. And Jesus is Lord, so you need to repent of your sins and believe in Jesus. So, I, you did not know how to go to heaven until just now. Do you believe this message I just shared with you out of the Bible called the Gospel about Jesus? Do you believe? I'm not necessarily religious. So. Okay. I'm sorry. So, I'm not asking you for you to, to be religious, but are you believing the message of the Bible? Okay. The Bible, God says, if you believe the gospel, this message, you can be forgiven. You can go to heaven. Are you ready to live for Jesus? Lay down your old life. Lay down your sins. Pick up the cross and follow Jesus. Even if Jesus leads you to suffering and death, are you ready to follow Jesus? Are you ready to follow Jesus? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. What's your first name? Jalen. Jalen? How do you spell that? J-Y-L-Y-N-N. J-Y-L-Y-N-N. Nice. Can I pray for you to receive Jesus? <laughs> I'm just, just going to pray for you. So, four real quick questions. You believe you sinned against God. You're a sinner. You believe Jesus is God and He died for you on the cross and rose again. Do you believe He rose again on the third day? He came back to life. And do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever, Jalen? <laughs> um, okay. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Jalen. So much for Jalen. Please save her by the power of the gospel, which she just heard and understood and obeyed for the first time. Would you please fill her with the Holy Spirit, turn her into a new person, give her a new heart that loves you and loves people. In Jesus' name, amen. It's that simple. So 
Read, pray, and obey every day. Read the Bible every day, pray to God every day, obey God every day, every day. And real believers always believe the gospel and grow in holiness. You're going to obey God more and more and sin less and less. You're not going to be perfect in this life, but you will want to reach for perfection. Does that make sense? Yeah. And um, do you already go to a church somewhere? No. What city do you live in? China. Okay. Uh, Calvary Chapel, Tustin is, is very close to you. Okay? So here's my, my emails in here. And read that. That helps you. Okay? God bless you guys. And please think about eternity because it's going to come really maybe faster than you think. Okay? You don't know when you're going to die, right? Yeah. Please don't, don't play around with eternity. Thank you so much for talking to me. God bless you. Thank you.